Hey guys, it's Khalif from Fat Guy Skinny Wallet, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm here to just show you guys what I picked up at Goodwill and tell you about the NSV. So, for a while, for a very long time, I've been wearing things that are too big for me, and that's because I've been losing weight, I've lost close to 70 pounds now, and I just haven't had the money to replace things. So, you know, a couple people told me about Goodwill, and I've always just figured, you know, Goodwill has normal size stuff. They don't have stuff for big guys. I'm still big. I still wear things that are larger than a normal population. So I need I need things that uh, can fit me. I don't like wearing things that are tight, that feel snug. I move around a lot. You probably notice even when I talk and I'm sitting down real still, I talk with my hands. In general, I'm a very animated person. I move around a lot. I'm always walking around stretching and doing things. So I can't feel restricted by my clothing. So I figured there's not going to be anything too big. So anyway, I went there and they were able to pick some things up. I'll show you some of the shirts first. Sorry I'm not wearing anything yet, but I just finished working out. And I wanted to just get all these videos up. I'm doing like eight or nine videos today. So I don't know when this will go up. But I'm doing some reviews and I'm doing a lot of things in the kitchen too. I took off work. So um, yeah, I didn't have time to actually put some of these things on. So anyway, I'll show you clothes now. Alright, here we go. So, and let me just tell you, I got seven shirts and three pairs of pants, and I paid like $32, and then I took them all to the dry cleaners, and we just, they're still, I haven't worn them yet, they're still coming back, from, came back from the dry cleaners recently, and I paid about $18. So overall, it's $50 for three pairs of pants and seven shirts. I've, to me, that's a great deal. So, um, yeah, so let me just show them to you. All right, so this is just a regular, regular white shirt. Um, most of these I wanted to wear to work or church. Some of these can't be. Um, but anyway, this is 16 and a half neck, 32, 33 um, in the length. Now, this is a uh, considered a large. I don't know as far as large, extra large, what I used to wear. I know with white T-shirts I would wear 6XL, and my um, dress shirts I will go up to a 20 inch neck. And I will go up to, uh, in, in the chest, 36, 37. So this is from 20 inches down to 16 and a half, and then 32, 33 inches, which is a huge difference. Okay, next is this shirt. Um, and, sorry, let me get the size of it. Another 17 inch uh, neck. And then 35 inches in the uh, chest. I don't know how well any of this is coming through. I tried my best with the lighting. Okay. This one is just considered extra large. So hopefully you can see it there. Um, yeah. It's kind of hard to show you and get close enough. Just another plain white shirt here. Uh, bring it in closer. Nothing fancy about it. It's extra large, which is a 17-inch neck and then 34-35 chest. And I guess the cleaner separated dark and light, or so I really don't know. Anyway, um, these are some more shirts. Here, this is black and gray. I don't know what it comes through like on the camera, but it looks odd from there. But this is 17 and a half inch neck, but 32-33 inch uh, chest. Um, Ooh, iron free. That's what I'm talking about. Look, I hate ironing. I would throw, I would like take water and splash water on, on these types of shirts or even t-shirts. Just splash a bunch of water on it and throw it in the dryer for three to five minutes. That's how I iron. I hate ironing. I have since I was a child. Okay, back to the clothes. Um, so this is a size large. And last is, oh, I love this shirt too. It's a 16 and a half inch neck, 33, 32, 33. So, I'm very pleased with those shirts. My shirts are all too big. If you see this, this these are how my shirts fit. These are how my shirts are, are cut. I mean, this is a sweatshirt, but if I can just show you, this is where my body ends. And you have a huge amount of space that I could just fold this is where my body ends. This is where the fat of my stomach ends. So this is far out. And you can fold it over where I can, I can cover my arm up with all the extra. And then, of course, you have all this going on. So, yeah, it's real hard when I wear these types, uh, these dress shirts. 
Alright, so I have these pants here, and I never knew officially what I was. When I wore suits, I wore 54, and I don't even know what that measures, um, honestly. But I knew I would always get 52 or 54 in my suits, and then have to get the, uh, the legs hemmed because I'm so short. Um, the last time I bought dress pants was like a year or two ago, probably two years ago, I think. And I was a 48 waist. That's what I had to buy, 48 waist. So just keep that in mind. These are some of the things that I bought recently. Um, this was a 38 waist. They all look just about the same. Nothing, nothing special about them, you know, to me. But I needed them. And these two are identical. So I'll show you this. And these are both 36 inch waists. I don't know if you heard that. 36 inches. Stop playing with me. I mean, I was actually talking to someone and he said the biggest that he's ever been was a 36. And he had to lose like 30 pounds to get down to like a 34, 32. Uh, 33, I think. But, I was 48 inches. I still wear the 48 inches. I feel like Julie a little bit. I still wear, wear the 48 inches because they're, they're such a good... Um, material and a good cut. Um, I still wear some of my 46 inch uh, pants. My jeans are still 46 inches of uh, waist. So I still have my 48, 46s. Um, jeans, capris, I'm not capris, what do you call these things? Khakis and dress pants. They're all 48, 46 inches. So I just got these that are now 36, 38 inches. I mean, it's and they fit. It's not like I'm buying them so that they can be motivation so I can fit them in two months. They fit now. In two months, I'm, I might not be wearing those. I might be giving them back to somebody or giving them to someone else and giving them back to Goodwill and buying ones that are smaller. Like, I mean, this is crazy to me that I went from a 20, wearing a 20 inch neck in my shirts to now comfortably fitting a 16 and a half. I went from, from 48 inches, inch waist to 36 inches. The last time I wore like 36 inches, I was in high school. And I was playing sports and stuff then. Matter of fact, I think I was, I went from 32 to 34. And that was the first time I noticed like a jump as I went up to 34. I went up to 36, I think, right after high school when I gained that, that weight working for Boston Market in the summer. Anyway, um, I'm just thrilled about these clothes. I'm just thrilled about this. I told people that I was going to do this. Um, I know specifically Zen bugged me a few times. She even sent me a private message talking about my baggy stuff. So hopefully you'll see me in things that fit a little better. I still have to wear things that are baggy. That's just how I am. I mean, these aren't so baggy, but they're big enough that I feel comfortable in. And you never catch me wearing anything that's even remotely tight. So for me to fit into a 36, I think that a lot of men my size would probably opt for a 34 inch waist. And maybe even a 15 and a half neck or something like that. But for me, I need more room. So anyway, I just, I'm just really excited. And I could go on for another 30 minutes just telling you how excited I am. Because this is, I mean, I haven't been this size. I haven't been able to fit these things in so long. Th these sizes in 15, between 15 and 20 years. I mean, between 15 and 20 years it's been since I've been able to fit sizes like this. And I know I still have room to go. I still have weight to lose. But... I mean, this is, it's real. And this is the first time in my life that it's actually felt real. Every, every year as an adult, I've said I've wanted to lose weight. And this is the first time it's actually been real for me. You know, it's been over, it's been about 15 months now. Maybe even a little more than 15 months. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing it slowly. I've lost about 66, 67 pounds right now. But, you know, I'm just pushing through. And the stuff like this motivates me and lets me know that it's real. Alright guys, um, I just wanted to show you that I, I am trying to, to have a new life and I'm not just being stuck wearing the old things and tripping over my stuff and looking like a clown. Alright guys, take care and remember, it doesn't get easier, you just get stronger.